welcome back to my channel let's jump right in and see what i'm talking about this week Now in this video, this is my interview with On The Cube Productions. So we're just gonna jump right in and watch the interview. So get you some popcorn because it's a little bit over an hour and let's see what we're talking about. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm gonna put the new side. <laughs> Well, we, we are live now, but you're good though. I, I see you forward facing, so <laughs> you're not you're not backwards to the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just give people a few moments, uh, you know, to sign on. Okay. To see that, you know, to see that we're on live. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm definitely happy that, you know, you're a fellow Aquarius, so. <laughs> yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, ooh, it's seven days before my birthday. Seven days, wow. Yeah. So wait, so that means you're you're born on Valentine's Day. Yes. Wow. That's that's cool. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. I think um, now that I'm older, I get gypped on the gifts, but it is cool. Oh, that's that's how they do they gyp you on the gifts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See when I was a kid, I used to get all kind of stuff, but now Right, yeah. Yeah, I can understand. <laughs> it's almost it's almost like with Christmas. Yes. When your birthday's you know on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey everybody, I do see people um joining us tonight. So welcome. This is Quadria Marie of Live on the Q Podcast. First, I want to say it's it's Wellness Wednesday. Um, I know Corinne, I know you love this day as well. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. So I just wanted to to shout that out for everybody coming on. Um, anyone who's coming on, just make sure. Um, you comment so that um, the two of us can see, you know, see your comments as well, or just send a little wave out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, people are already coming on, so let me. I can start showing some of the uh, the comments. Hey, Sean, hey, we're going to bring you up tonight, and here he is, the first person yes. on tonight's show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Phyllis, as well. Appreciate hey, Phyllis. you. That's my cousin. Yeah. Hey cousin. <laughs> That's another cousin. Yeah, see, I love when family comes on. Got my family in the house. That family support <laughs> means everything. <laughs> yes, it does. So I just want to just introduce myself again real quickly. My name is Quadria Marie. I'm the host of Live on the Q podcast. This is actually the streaming platform for my media production company, On the Q Productions. Um, our goal on the Q Productions is pretty much um, to focus on the urban community, educating, inspiring the urban community on personal health, uh, wellness, and fitness, which is why I have tonight's guest, the lovely <laughs> lifestyle changer, uh, Kareen Smith. I just say correct, right? I didn't want to mess yes, your name. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> this, is our, this, excuse me, this is our first time talking um, amongst each other, even though we've kind of been communicating for a while. I should say the yes. last few months. Yes. Actually, we actually met through Dushan, um, her firstborn son, who's on here tonight watching as well. So those those connections, you know, they do mean something. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so again, you know, I appreciate you guys for coming on. Oh, we have some more comments coming on. I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss any of the comments for you. <laughs> What's up, Kai? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is actually my cousin here. What's okay. up? Hey, cuz. Hey. <laughs> That's hey. my daughter. Hey, hey Tamara. <laughs> She's at college. Hey, I love it. I don't want. I That's don't want my aunt. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. Yes, from Ohio. That's my aunt, yes. Yes. My, my Ohio family. Yes. <laughs> oh, we have one more comment. <laughs> Oh my God, I definitely love, like I said, when family comes on, 
um, it definitely helps to have them, you know, there back you up. Yeah, you know, it as, does. especially you know when you're going through the journey that you're going through, and we were we were speaking earlier um, about how you know what you're doing can influence other people. Do you yeah. want to you want to share a little bit of what we were uh, talking about um, pre-interview about your your coworker you were telling me? Yes, I was at work today, and a lot of my family don't know, but you know I eventually want to become a health and fitness coach. And so when my coworkers came in as I was walking in the gym today, and she always, you know, asked me questions and she wanted to know how many laps around would it be to, you know, do a mile and, you know, just picking my brain. And she was asking me, like, I walk. So, Mm -hmm. and I see you walking. So what, are you walking for? And I told you, you know, I want to lose weight, get healthy. And my goal is to be fit by 50. Oh, there's mom. Hey, mom. Yes. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> hey, my- Antoine. Hey, Leanne. Thank you guys again. Yes. Yes. I, I, my goal is to be fit by 50. So yes. I'm 47 and a half now. Yeah, so, and, look, and, you look, and you look good, too. I just wanted to say you. that. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. And I feel great. Yes, yes. Chris, a shout out to Ohio. That's my boyfriend Woo-hoo. supporting. Love it. <laughs> yes. And so she, you know, was asking me different questions. And she was like, well, I walk. And she's like, well, how many steps do you walk? I said, you know, I try to get in at least 10,000. And. She's wow. like, well, I, I know that I do 10,000 plus in a day. She's like, but I still either maintain or gain a little bit. Mm-hmm. So my therapist hat came on. I'm like, so what are you eating throughout the day? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you know, I don't eat, you know, a whole bunch. Yeah. I eat fruits and vegetables. I said, okay, so if it's not your food intake, I said, what are you mm-hmm. drinking? Mm-hmm. Are you drinking juices? She was like, you know, I do drink tea all day. Mm. And I, I said, is it sweet tea? And she said, yes, it is. I said, well, that's what it is. I said, it's mm. that sugar in that sweet tea that's keeping yes, you maintaining. <laughs> you said 47 <laughs> Thank you. black love taxes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm like, that's, it's that sweet tea. You got to, you can still have the tea, but try to do unsweet. Right. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. I said, yes, you can. I said, you know, take baby steps. Yes. And she, and she was like, maybe if I mix it unsweet, sweet, maybe that'll help. And I told her, I said, you know, that's a baby step. Right. So she, you know, she thanked me and she's like, I'll be back to get more information from you. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you you know where I'm at. I'm in this gym every day at 12 o'clock. So <laughs> And you see, you see how that that works. Like we were talking about earlier, that you didn't even know that she was paying any attention to what you were doing. Yes, you were just going about your your regular, you know, regular routine, pretty much. Yes, like and I said, people I was, people do watch. Yes, I was in there by myself. Then the next thing I know, I hear this door, and I'm like, <laughs> "Where did that come from?" <laughs> and then it was her; she was there. So yes. <laughs> So I would like you, you know, to tell the viewers, um, those who are, you know, watching and listening, just pretty much what happened on on that on that day, on March the first, in the middle of all of this, you know, chaos going on during this pandemic. What made you actually just get up one day and you know decide that this is the day that I'm going to uh, start start my journey? I know you wasn't even aware what journey that you were starting that day, but something I know switched on in you and made you want to make a difference, you know, a change in your life. Can you just tell us briefly about how did CJ and Miss Creation start? Well, I'm going to go back a little bit before March 1st. Okay. I, I went to my physician for my physical back in January mm. and I weighed, you know, weighed myself and I thought I was one weight. He's like, no, you're a little bit, you know, Yes. Smaller, like a pound. I'm like, okay, cool, a pound. So, um, but my cholesterol has always been a little bit elevated. Hey, Annette, that's my cousin. Hey, another cousin. What's up, cousin? <laughs> <laughs> so my cholesterol has always been a little bit elevated, you know, mm-hmm. since a teenager. 
So when he mentioned it at that appointment, he was like, you know, if it continues to be, it's always been like between 215, 219. Mm -hmm. He said, if it continues with you getting older, we're going to put you on medication. Mm. So I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't like taking medication, even if I'm, you know, sick or injured or whatever. You know, I'll just deal with the pain. That's just how I've been. Right. So moving on up to March 1st, I woke up that morning and my face just felt huge. Mm. And I was getting up, getting ready for work. And I said, oh, it's a self. We have to do something. We can't continue to be like this. Mm. And that was what made me decide then that morning when my face just felt huge that mm. I needed to get out or get up, get out and do something. Yes. And that's what I did. I'm, After, I'm definitely glad you did. <laughs> yeah. Because you haven't stopped since. I haven't. Cause my goal was to, it was March, my March. And I was, yeah. my, my goal was to March every day in March, but I only missed five days. So I was proud of myself for even wow. doing that. And cause you know, March 1st, everything was still open. Right. That's true. Yeah. The pandemic. Like, you're has, down in, you're in Georgia, right? Yes. In Marietta, right. Georgia. Okay. And, but with spring coming, it was raining a whole lot. Because in my first few mm. videos, when I did start recording, there was one, I have it on my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. where you could see me walking through the track was flooded. And I was walking mm. through the flooded track. Wow. You was determined. I was determined, <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, Clifford. Thank you for joining as well. Another cousin from Ohio. Yes. I love it. They're about to be my cousins, too. <laughs> Yes, Ohio. Now, now, family now we're all family, so. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 you good. Yes. I, I will share my family. That's my brother. That's yes, my brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. Like I said, I love when family comes on because you, you, you're actually probably encouraging them, you know what I mean, to go out, if they're not already, to go out and, and walk every day. And people don't realize how how powerful walking is yes you know a lot of people think that you have to be you know crazy in the gym and you know running all these different miles but really mm -hmm. you don't have to you could just no. walk you know 30 30 minutes you know a day and yeah. you're, you're 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 changing your health just doing yeah. that yeah what's up <laughs> hey <laughs> what's up cuz <laughs> <laughs> I thought I stole your cousins, now. I see. <laughs> I don't mind sharing. Frank Thank says, you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. Hi, Cheryl. That's Thanks cousin. Guys. Ohio. I said Ohio representing. Yeah, Ohio just took over. Cousin Mitch. That's my cousin, <laughs> too. Mitch. They're in Virginia. I love, I yes. love it. I love my family. Yes. You know, it's all over. You know, I just wish, you know, with this COVID, we're able to go and, and travel and see our family. Because I have family yes. in Virginia and Georgia as well. Okay. And it seems like, you know, I have my grandfather, you know, who passed actually is from Crawfordville. I don't know if you know where that is, Crawfordville, Georgia. So no, he's I from heard there. Of I, I haven't been there, actually. <laughs> but I have a lot of family, of, you know, from there. I think it's probably like, a, it's like a small town. You know, it's not like, you know, Atlanta or anything. Mm -hmm. But I have okay. you know, family from there and stuff. And I wish I could go and, you know, go down there and, and see them as well. Yes, so, you should. Oh, Come on down. <laughs> see, see you, right? You know, you're in yes. Georgia. So I, have, yeah. I have a friend down there. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, Miss Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> That's my yes. mom's friend, Miss Sylvia. <laughs> Ohio in the house. Yes, yes. Ohio is here tonight, yes. representing hard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a, it's important for us, you know, to talk to people and feel like we're reaching out to people from different places. We're we're all going through things at the same time. Yes. You know, no matter you know where we're located. 
you know, that we have to true. remember, like, we're, we're all in this, you know, together. Yes, we are. So I wanted to, I wanted to ask you, I, I know when you, you started walking, I'm pretty sure you didn't wake up and say you wanted to start, you know, recording yourself. No. What made you want to actually, <laughs> what made you actually say, you know what, instead of me just, you know, doing this on my own, which was, you know, good enough, you know, mm -hmm. for yourself, but what made you want to go and, and start recording these, these daily, you know, journals and weekly journals of your, your weight loss journey? It did start out daily and it started out on my Instagram page. Hey, DZ. But <laughs> the reason why it started, because I wanted to make myself accountable. Mm, and yes. I, because I wanted to see what I looked like. So the recording started on March 4th. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see what I looked like and then start following my journey to see what I look like once I get to my final destination, my final goal. Mm, yes. And I can see a difference now mm. from where I started. Right. Because like with my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I do flashbacks. I do some current stuff and then I do flashbacks to March from when I first started. And mm -hmm. just looking at my face, just the other day, I'm like, is that me? Look at my face. I can, <laughs> even how, looking at you now, I can tell. What's up, Carol? Thank you, she's up in the that's village. Cousin in, in Florida. Yes, hey Florida. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're about to have the the entire oh, East Coast. Yes. East, East <laughs> and Central America. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or Midwest. I'm talking about Central America. Midwest. I don't know. <laughs> And yeah, my brother's in Florida too. So yeah, yeah we're gonna... yes, yes, love you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just yeah. you know I just wanted to just journal, right? Because someone asked me the other day, they were like, "Why don't you write stuff down and start journaling?" And I'm like, "My mm -hmm. videos are my journal, right?" And you know, and it's just been going ever since then. And funny story, when I started on Instagram, my videos probably were only between four to six minutes long. So then I started getting long winded because I, ju I just don't go on there and talk about myself. Right. I'm the type of person I like to do research. And so I started talking about different things. I would talk about sleep. I would talk about AARP because I have an AARP card. Yes, nothing and wrong with that. Tom. Nothing wrong with it because <laughs> you don't have to be 55 and up to get this card. Yes, tell you got to tell that knowledge to people because people don't yes. know. Yes, I read an article and this gentleman was hey. like 35. Yes. Christine, she's oh. saying your skin is glowing. <laughs> Thank yes. you. That's another cousin from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lost track. <laughs> I'm gonna and have to go back that's and where I'm a, all your cousins. Yeah, shout out, especially as you see, out. that's where I'm originally from, from Mansfield, oh, okay, Ohio. From there. Okay, I got yes. it. Yes, originally from Mansfield, Ohio, moved to Georgia mm -hmm. 22 years ago. So wow. <laughs> been here 22 years. But that's still that's still your your roots is still Ohio. Yes. 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 Born and raised. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> but oh, um, wonderful. huh? No, I said that's wonderful. Yes, I, I, yes. I appreciate all the support of my family that's here on this call, and a lot of them, you know, reach out to me and tell me, "Hey, I, I yes. watched your videos. Hey, I, I saw you, or where you at? I didn't see you." and wow. you know friends and family and yeah. that's what i was going to say in regards to the funny story mm -hmm. i got long-winded so i had to go over to facebook because instagram would no longer take my videos because my videos started being 15 20 minutes long right i, I see them <laughs> <laughs> so once i jumped over to facebook yeah and you know they let you go as long as you want right and so i was still recording every day 
So I try to walk every day except for Sunday just to give my body a break. Right. And I, one day I was walking, it was a Monday. And I said, cause I didn't know that people were actually watching me. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know, yes, I'm, just, yes. I'm just, I'm just going to record and just have Monday videos. Like I said, I didn't think anybody was watching me. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, my inbox blowing up, people calling me. No, we're you're inspiring us. No, you can't do it. We like your videos. And I'm like, where are all these people coming from? <laughs> <laughs> they just came up. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, oh my goodness. They're like, you are inspiring us. And you know, at yeah. that time, the everything was shut down. Mm-hmm. So people were in the house. And different ones were yeah. saying, you know, you are helping me to get through this. Mm. Being in the house from COVID, not being able right. to work or, mm-hmm. you know, so my videos were actually helping people. And I didn't realize it because, like I said, I was just doing it to keep myself accountable. And if people watched it, you know, I didn't really know because right. some people would com- some people would comment. And, you know, others weren't, but then they were in the background just watching. So that it it made me feel good to know that, you know, I was in or am still. Right, you are, still are, right. And it's like you said, it's it's really nice, you know, to actually, you know, hear someone come out and reach out to you. And, and, you know, I let you know, because you're going to be doing it anyway regardless of who comes to you but it's nice yeah. to, to hear that because it kind of pushes you more because now you're like oh i got it i got to do it now <laughs> you know you have that accountability now that when people see you doing it now you you have to do it there's, yeah. there's no pretty much no um no turning back leanne yeah. says while well, i'm watching you i'm riding my bike <laughs> hey good job auntie that's yes. my auntie <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, and that's actually another exercise that I love, bike riding. That's a, that's another great exercise for people. Yes, it is. Especially if you have, you know, issues with, you know, walking or running. It definitely, you know, helps a lot. So. Yes. Brenda says your family's so happy to see you. Oh, yes. thank you, Aunt Brenda. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate you coming on to see me. <laughs> That does, you know, like I said, give it gives you, you know, motivation yourself. Yes. To you know, to continue it as you know your journey, what you're doing. Yes. So I know, I know you posted before. I I don't know how long ago if it was recently, but you say you lost like 20 pounds. So is is that something like that you're still trying to work towards, or you're good with with that? Because that's a lot right there. 20 pounds um, as of right now <laughs> i haven't i want to put that out there that's not an easy <laughs> task you know 20 pounds but for many people that's that's a, a you know a goal yes well i haven't said anything to anybody but i did tell one person but i've actually gotten to my hey, first Steve. goal hey steven <laughs> cousin from michigan hey cousin <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually reached my first goal and that my first goal was to get out of the 200s mm. and I got out of the 200s Sunday when I woke up and I weighed myself. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. And I was discouraged because, you know, when I first started this journey on March the 1st, mm-hmm. walking, walking, walking and i wasn't really seeing the numbers go down Mm -hmm. so it discouraged me a little bit even though i was feeling the i could tell like inches were being lost but i wasn't seeing the numbers go down Mm -hmm. but now i'm starting to see the numbers go down and i was getting discouraged i was getting discouraged at (laughs) um trying to get to that first goal yes. thank you guys i appreciate it <laughs> yes they're definitely showing love tonight yes yes they are i love my family to death i love them <laughs> they are so supportive and getting to that first goal mm-hmm. i was discouraged because it's been about a month 
And I think I did uh -huh. talk about that in one of my videos just recent. Mm -hmm. How, because I was like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I should maybe by Sunday. I think this might have been like two and a half weeks ago. Maybe by mm -hmm. Sunday, I'll be at my new goal and my first goal. And I'll let you guys know in my Monday video. Well, that Monday came and went. The next Monday came and went. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what am I doing right. or not doing? So mm -hmm. my brother had reached out to me. Mm -hmm. And he suffers from headaches. And mm -hmm. so he was telling me that he was going to stop eating sugar for a month. Yeah. So I don't know if you saw my recent video. I think it was last week when I posted. I Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where I think it was last week's video when I posted that I had the, the pop tarts. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had the pop tarts. And then when he it was around that time and he was like, you know, he's going to stop the sugar for a month. Mm. So I'm like, OK, let me try that. So last week week all last week i didn't have any sugar mm. and i believe that is what helped me get to that first goal that first one right yes yeah, people don't realize that 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 sugar intake is a big factor oh yes when you're trying to uh to lose weight yeah i went it two was. weeks this month of october i did uh, the water challenge pretty much well i didn't i didn't drink anything you know as far as like carbonated drinks or you know, any like, uh, you know, juices that are in mm -hmm. cartons or anything like that, um, you know, for at least for two, 15 days. And then I had to have a little wine at that point. <laughs> 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 but I said, I need something now. I need something else in my system. <laughs> but I did go 15 days um, just drinking just water. And okay. that, that even that was a difference. And even now, you know, I still have, um, you know, I have my little salsa water here. Okay. I, sometimes I have a little upset stomach and things, so the seltzer water, you know, helps with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm still trying to drink, you know, pretty much water because now I feel better, you know, without yeah. having all that that sugar intake in your system. Yes. So and I'm it's pretty like, sure it did help you. Yes, because you it's almost like you can feel when you're drinking water it flushing everything right, out. Right, flushing everything. Yes. Yes. Chris says mm -hmm. so important not to get discouraged if results don't come right away. Good you had your brother there to talk to to bounce ideas off of. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I said I appreciate him telling me that because you know I was also too gonna ask you about the water because I remember yeah, I think you were talking right. to everybody. Yeah, everybody out there, make sure you have water always yes. next to you. Water. Yes. You gotta have that water. Yeah, because I thought when you were talking to Felipe. That mm -hmm. you said you was going a month, so I was gonna ask you yeah, about I that. Me, I, yeah, I was supposed to have to do that, but I, you know, after my grandfather and all that, you know, what happened? Yeah, I yeah. Said I have to have a little something, but even that was just at that moment, you know. Okay. When I was with family, I had you know uh -huh. a little rose, and that was pretty much that was it. <laughs> I came back home and started right back drinking, you know, my water. So I'm pretty much still drinking, you know, water. I had like a little juice. I think Chris fed me some orange juice at his house. <laughs> you messing, messing me up, Chris. Yeah, but I had, Chris. I had, like, we got to get him. But, um, yeah. you know, that was it. Like I said, pretty much other than that, I'm drinking water at home. You know, for the most part, other than that. So, you know, you got to. It's, it's, it's that it's getting into the habit of, of just drinking it. Yes. You know, yeah. just drinking the, the right amount of it. Yeah. It's definitely a challenge. Yeah, because I try to drink. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I appreciate yeah. you talking to me about the sugar because, yes, that helped me yeah. a lot. Yes. Yeah, and I might need to have Frank on, too, to talk about that because that's like <laughs> that's like a whole uh, show in itself. Yes, sugar. Sugar. Yeah, <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Yes, like I said, that's why I was telling my coworker, stop all that sweet tea yeah. it's because of the sugar. It's the sugar. See, people people love tea, but it's that that sweet part. Yeah, they, you know, they feel like they have to have an extra little flavor or something, you know, extra taste yeah. to it. Well, I told her, I said, you know, if you can have the unsweet, why mm -hmm. don't you try? Because in place of sugar, I use Truvia. Okay, yeah, and I sprinkle that in my because i drink a lot of green tea so yes, i put that yes. in place of 
you know, the sugar or I'll use honey sometimes. But since I've been staying away from the sugar, I haven't been using the honey so far this week. But um, yeah, I'll use the, the Truvia. Yes, he said 30 days. This is Sunday. Wow. Yeah, his 30 days. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I have to start using that too, um, the Truvia. It's really good. Yeah, you I'm have to get that used to it at first because the taste really? is really <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you told me now. Why do you say squeeze lemon in your water? Yes, I love that. In the, in the morning, um, every morning when I wake up, um, I, I squeeze lemon. I actually drink a glass of warm water with lemon. Sometimes I'll add, you know, ginger too, just to help, you know, like you said earlier, to cleanse your body before I even start. Yeah you know, eating or taking vitamins and all that, I was trying to cleanse my body from, you know, overnight. Yes. 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 But with me, yes. I can't <laughs> do lemon because yes. that's one of the things that I'm allergic to. Oh, allergic wow. To okay. No, don't do that then. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when um, I have put that I had to learn myself mm -hmm. in my video was because found out that I had a lot of food allergies. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, so because I took my son, he would get sick quite a bit. And so we took him, he got allergy testing. And yes, yes it is a good replacer for sugar. Yeah, he got the allergy testing. He has a lot of food allergies. So I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. well, let me get myself checked just to see if it's coming right. from me. And sure enough, mm. I have a lot of food allergies. So... Mm that's one way i was able to find out about myself and then my grandmother she passed from ovarian cancer mm -hmm. so i went to my yearly appointment and he was like has anyone ever talked to you about genetics testing mm -hmm. and i'm like no so he was like maybe you should go get some genetics testing so i had that done and you know it's a little scary you know when yeah, you get the results little, back little nervous yes and but it helped me because you know cancer feeds off of different things so i know by changing my lifestyle and the way that i'm yes. eating it helps to you know stave off some cancers so you know i'm not as nervous you know about it anymore you know from what i got back from the genetics testing i just know right. i need to keep doing what i'm doing right that's it so th that played a factor in it as well with mm -hmm. march 1st walking like i said feeling like my face was huge right. and then all the things that that test said i could possibly get in the future so yes yes Yes, cancer does definitely like sugar. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that genetic testing, I can see how, like you said, you know, that can make you, you know, feel nervous because you don't know what, what they're going to tell you. Mm -hmm. But it's important. Yes. You know, it's, it, to me, I always feel like it's better to know than not to know. That's true. And, you know, you some know, people say, yes. And some people say, you know, they don't want to know, but hey, right. I'd rather know. And then, you know, if something was to happen, it wouldn't be a shock. It would still be a shock, but it wouldn't be as bad of a shock. Right. But I'm trying to alleviate anything from happening and trying to change my life and my lifestyle and the way that I'm eating. Yes. And that says you have truly been inspiring cousin. Let's plan a virtual family walk. You know, I we like that. that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We can do yeah, that. Definitely. That's a great, great idea to come together as a group. Yes. Because it does help when you have, like you said, accountability to have accountability partner, mm -hmm. you know, there with you, especially with, you know, a family. Yes. You know, because it is a lifestyle change. And that's why I promote too on the key productions is living you know a healthy lifestyle you know it's not just a matter of just you know drinking water that's part of it yes. but it's a whole lifestyle change mm -hmm. and, you know everything physical spiritually emotionally all of those things you know come together yes yes 
Yes, well, we sounds can. good. Yes. yes, we can definitely do that. Uh, and Carissa, genetic testing. What is the um, procedure? I had to. It's it's a blood test. I gave probably four or five vials of blood, and then they sent it off to the labs, and it took about five to six weeks to get the results back. Mm -hmm. And I got a just a big list of you know what they tested for mm. and there was they call like the BRCA2 gene and that's the one that kind of tells you if you're susceptible to getting different kinds of cancers oh and, i didn't even i didn't even know that myself let me let me write this down <laughs> yeah. no because this is actually you know it's really important it is it really is because so, we're not aware of that no one tells you you, yep. you just you don't know yeah and i was you know just surprised when i because you know i've had that information in my file for a while but i guess maybe because i was getting ready to turn 47 and he was like hey has anybody talked to you about this so right i'm like well sure you know i like trying different things anyway and i'm like okay i'll go get it done yeah you're like i'll try it <laughs> 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 he said, thank you for the information i know oh, earlier he posted about trying um alkaline water instead i heard a few people um say okay. that um before too instead of the um the lemon water so okay. that's something new to try too <laughs> yeah definitely definitely try that. I try to do that too people you know i hear people you know say different things and i've done you know a few shows now and i'll be trying to listen to what everybody says because mm -hmm. You know these people they may not think they're experts but it's like we're still learning from you you know yeah. what i mean like you may not see yourself as an expert but i'm pretty sure you know things that can help somebody else oh yes because i do a lot of research <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know you do because <laughs> yeah, like i said when i do my walks i want to give you know some kind of advice and right. so it keeps my mind sharp and you know and hopefully i'm teaching somebody something that they didn't know so. Right. Well, you definitely are doing that, uh, you know, tonight because it's it's good to talk about things and just, you know, have open conversations, especially mm -hmm. within the, the black community. We tend to not, not talk about stuff. Oh, yes. you know, until we do, we do it in private. Yes. Which is not always the best, you know, resolution. That's true. You know, sometimes you do need to just be open. If you learn something and it's been working for you, it's it's always a nice thing to be able to share that with the next person. Because yeah. that may it may benefit them too. Yes. And like you said tonight about the genetic testing, I'm sure everybody listening, or most people probably watching, didn't even know about that. You know, that they can even go and ask, you know, their doctor that they could just go and get, you know, testing, you know, done like that. Yep. You just ask them yeah. to, you know, refer you mm -hmm. to get genetic testing done. And, you know, they shouldn't have any problem with doing it, especially like if you right. have family members that, passed away from some type right. of cancer, prostate, breast, ovarian, yeah. you know, they shouldn't have a problem with, you know, referring you to get those tests done. Yeah. And I've definitely had, I lost two aunts actually to um, ovarian cancer okay. as well. So, you know, now, you know, I'm being more watched, you know, cautiously, you know, because, mm -hmm. of, you know, because of that, but I go to my, my doctors regularly. Now I'm always in the doctor. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm not sick, yes. I'm just like, let me go to all these doctors. You know, while I got the insurance, I know my boyfriend Chris be, he be like, how many doctors you going to? I'm like, I have to, I, like, I have, like, it's like every week I'm going to, I went to the eye doctor this week, and then next week I'm going to see another doctor, a physical therapy. But it's okay. like, this stuff is important, you know, while yes. you're able to go. Because yes. there might be a day I might not be able to, you know, see all these doctors. So I'm mm -hmm. like trying to get everybody in because I do want to keep my health up. You yes. do need to know what's going on, you know, with your heart, you know, with your eyes and, you know, everything. There's the yes. lungs and, you know, some of the stuff you just you just need to know. And then once you know, you know, that's it. Then you know what to do from there. You know what steps you have to take, you know, on your own to keep your health up. Yes. Yes, definitely, because, you know, we can see what's going on on our outside. You know, we got a mole come in That's or right. something, but on the right. inside, we don't know what's going right. on. Right, we don't so know. We need to go get checked out. Yes. 
Dolly says she's proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Darling. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, it definitely, you know, even like I said tonight, you're already, you know, providing information, you know, to people. Even people who probably talk to you every day. I'm pretty sure they didn't they didn't even know certain things about you. Yeah, I try to, you know, and you know, a lot of my family I don't talk to every day. So mm -hmm. I think too, that's why I try to put things on the internet. Right. And, and I started up a family Zoom because, like I said, I love my family. I want to make sure everybody's okay. And we haven't done it in, in a couple of weeks, good. but yeah. So you know, family. This Saturday we are doing family Zoom. Yes, put that. <laughs> all, all the cousins are watching, so this is a good time. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do the Zoom on that's Saturday. <laughs> yes, but you know if you know i say it to everybody that's watching you know if you feel something going on go to the doctor and get checked out yes yes so yeah that's that's a really big thing yes. actually going and, and speaking up and you know if you don't feel right they just go on you know to somebody else you know get a second opinion as well yes yes not, especially with you know with women they love to you know dismiss us you know, mm -hmm. to make us feel like what we're feeling is not an issue, and it usually ends up being something. Yes, because you just you just know something's not right. You mm -hmm. know, with your body, yeah. you've been in, you know you've been in your body long enough <laughs> to know <laughs> to know what's going on, what's yes. on going on, and then you have somebody telling you that there's nothing wrong. You're like, no, mm -hmm. it's this it's something not right. And like you say, you just you just rather just know so that you don't have to worry because you can worry yourself about stuff. Especially yes. if you know something is off and nobody's yes. nobody's listening to you and nobody wants to pay attention to you or give you the right answer. Mm -hmm. So like you said, you you do a lot of research and I, I try to do that too. I need to get back on it because sometimes you really can't self-diagnose yourself. That mm -hmm. by the time you get to the doctor, they're telling you, you're like, I already knew that. You know, <laughs> you're like, I'm I'm doctor today. You're like, I already knew that's what was going on. Because you have to be an advocate for yourself. That's my cousin from Alabama. Hey, <laughs> Alabama's in the house. Yes. <laughs> I done lost track now. So we got Ohio, and then we got we got Georgia, and now we and we have Virginia, and now we got Alabama and Florida. Florida. Right? Yeah, yeah, I can't miss that. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, and Michigan. Yes. <laughs> No, it's, it's really is a blessing to have family, you know, come on. Like you say, you don't talk every day. Mm -hmm. So that's like you said, another reason it's, it's important to have um, your, your video journals so that people do want to see what's going on with you. They can just click, you know, right on your on your YouTube channel. Yes. And I, you know, I enjoy watching your videos, too. They're, you Thank know, definitely you. You know, encouraging, you know, to people. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, he yeah. said Maryland. Yes, we got to oh, yeah, Maryland. Maryland. Yes. Yes. Shout out to Maryland. Yes, Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to say too, it doesn't hurt to go if you if you know if something like emotionally is going on, it doesn't hurt to go talk to somebody, a therapist, because you yes. know a lot of us don't like to do that. And I had taken my kids to. Yes. a life coach and I definitely wanted because my daughter's in college I wanted her you know to talk to somebody since mm -hmm. she was getting ready to go off to college and then my son he wants to be in theater music something so I just wanted them you know to talk to somebody because they're right. you know shy and there's different uh -huh. things that you know they could help with even though she wasn't a therapist but she was pretty close <laughs> to one because she also helped me because uh -huh. she talked about you know regaining your strength yes and you know what do you want to do with your life uh -huh. where do you see yourself so she had them right. doing different activities and even though i wasn't one of her clients i sat in with my son because uh -huh. he's 16 now at the time he was 15 i think 14 had something like that but uh -huh. i sat in with him and I learned a lot mm. and it made me feel better also yes. 
to be able to regain my strength. So if there's things, you know, going on, yes, mental yeah. health is important. Oh, and we have we have a question um, for you too. When you first start walking or any exercise program, how often should you do this and for how long? I mean, just starting out. Just starting, yeah. Yeah, just starting out, you know, take it slow. I mean, that's what yeah. I do. Take it slow. Like when I first started, mm -hmm. I walked on the track. I did five laps. I would say, right. about, you know, with just 30 minutes. If you can't do 30 minutes, do 15. Right. I agree with that. 30 minutes. Yes. I mean, at least you are getting started. And it's never too late to get started. No, it's definitely not. Yes. Yeah, because that's what my brother had said. You know, he's like, I'm 50. Are you 53? No, 51. Now he's, he's, no, still, he's, me, he's still doing things out there for all of us, all the Facebook <laughs> and YouTube. 51. <laughs> and, you know, he was like, you know, I waited this long to get started, but it's never too late. No, it's, it's not. It's really yeah. not. And that's, that's for anything in life, but especially, um, you know, as far as exercise. There, yeah. there is no no time that you you know that you can't you can't start but yeah. i like i said i agree with the 30 minutes even you know we were mentioning steps before you know four you know four thousand steps you know a day you know something you know minimum you probably walk at least a thousand just with you know within your house yes so if you go out you said for 30 minutes just you know walking you know in the park i know it's kind of getting cold out but you can still, you know, walk around or, you know, just around your neighborhood and 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 come back. It's just to, mm -hmm. just to get your get your get your blood flowing, your body moving. Yes, because that's how I started. I had my hoodie on and my daughter got yes. me for Christmas, and <laughs> I was out there in the cold. And I said, you know, yes. sleep hell, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do <laughs> so, it. Yeah. So, you know, and if you don't want to go outside, I would. You know, say in my videos, you can do walking videos in your house. Right, that's true. So I found I love Leslie Sanson. I think that's how you say her mm -hmm. last name. I love her last name. Sounds French. <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> I do Leslie Sanson. I found her videos on YouTube. So I know a lot of you that are online would see me up at and out walking. 5 30 mm. 5 5 30 in the morning That's before the I started time back to work. yes wow congratulations yeah yeah and so um now since I'm back to work I set my alarm clock to get up at 4 45 wow and I do Leslie in the house I do her three miles mm -hmm. in the morning and then I walk again when I at 12 o'clock on my lunch break so I at least want to make sure I get in 10,000 steps a day. Yes. And that's, that's really good. 10,000. Yes. Oh, we have another um, comment too. I don't know if you can see all, if you can see all of hers. Yes. Yes. They were yes. blood over water. Yes. Blood over water. Yes, definitely. Yes. I definitely agree as well. Yes, I do too. Oh, oh she has another comment too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, unpack <laughs> Leslie's videos. Yes. Yes. Because, oh my goodness. I need to start watching as well, too, now. Yeah, she gets me sweating every morning. Yeah, that's why I did it before I came on. Yes. yes. Love, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> He's at 42. 42. <laughs> <laughs> you are the older sibling, not me, no. That's funny. <laughs> so it's a shot to do at least 250 steps every waking hour. Yes, that's a, that's a good number to start yes. with, too. Or... or I even saw where they said you can, if you want to get some steps in, whatever your favorite show is, yes. it's 30 minutes, walk mm. during that show, even during the yeah, commercials, just sense. walk. Right. That's a smart idea. Just to, just to do something. 
Yeah. So you're not just, you know, just sitting there, yeah. you know, watching like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least because even my mom, when she's at home, I know she has like her weights and stuff and she'll even try to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, even while she's sitting, she'll try to do something just to, um, you know, to exercise. Yes. You know, her body and stuff. Oh, yeah. we have an, we have another question. She said, last question, because I'm long winded. <laughs> I think all of us are. Yes. She said, do you have? Uh, excuse me, do you all have any recommendation for information on arthritis other than turmeric? Yeah, turmeric is actually very right, popular and has become more popular. By the way, I don't know if you saw if you saw her question. I'll put it back up for you. Inflammation, arthritis, other than turmeric. Um, hmm, that is a good question. I know for me, you know, because of my endometriosis, mm-hmm. um, I try to focus on eating a lot of like anti-inflammatory, you know, foods, mm-hmm. you know, as well. That, you know, that definitely helps. And exercise, um, believe it or not, is is actually great for, you know, for that, um, you know, just, just low calisthenics, you know, not nothing, you know, strenuous. Cause you know, I don't know if I'll be dealing with some type of arthritis. I don't know if I'm just getting older or what's going on, but <laughs> you know, I try not to do any, you know, any, any uh, crazy, you know, real, you know, hard, you know, exercises, but I would say just what you're, you know, what you're doing now, you know, just walking would help with that. Yeah. Cause with you saying yeah. exercise that yeah. did trigger something, I did look that up yeah. for mm-hmm. information because my yes, is correct to dairy, dairy products. Yes. Um, I had looked it up because my ankle used to be swollen quite a bit because I say I got pushed in a hole. <laughs> I don't know how I fell in the hole. I, so I say somebody pushed me in it. But um, I was looking to see what could help with the swelling. And it was saying that walking and like you said, um, exercising can help with inflammation. And I have noticed that my ankle, and it has gone down since mm-hmm. I've been walking. And that's crazy, right? Because you would think it wouldn't do that, but mm-hmm. a lot of times it's the, the the swelling and those you know issues with your joints comes from you not moving them. You yes. know, you're, they get stiff and tight. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you actually have to, you know, force yourself, even though you know you might be sore but actually force yourself to, to walk and, and try to loosen up. Cause I do a lot of stretching. That that's a big thing for me, stretching, um, you know, my, my feet, cause I have foot problems, my, mm-hmm. my feet and, and back, you know, that's really important. Even, you know, you know, it's exercising is important to stretch anyway. Yes. You know, for, for your body, you know, so that you don't, you know, hurt, hurt yourself pretty much. Yeah. And that's just something you should just be doing anyway, no matter mm-hmm. what you're doing out, outside of that. It's important to wake up, you know, every day and just, you know, stress your body. Yeah, you, know, you know, your all your body, every every part of it. Yes. Cuz that's one of the things that I put on that Leslie said. She said mm-hmm. make sure um that you're always stretching and bending at your trunk because you know, once you're getting older, it's going to be hard to like rotate back and forth if you're not right. stretching. Right, it is. And, you know, it's important, um, you know, even like tonight, you know, how we're, you know, on, you know, on the computer, you know, how you're sitting, you know, all that, you know, plays a role. You yes. know, your, your chair and, this, you know, just how you have, you know, your desk set up because a lot of us, you know, are working from home now. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's been affecting people too. Because yes. they're mo- they're mostly sitting now. Yes. They're, you know, I'm saying they're really not they're not moving. They're moving even less than they were before <laughs> before mm-hmm. COVID. So this is like you know what I'm saying. This is a time now that you really have to like kind of get out of that. You know that I hate to say, it, but laziness sort of that comes with yes. working from home, and just you know literally get out the house. And it's hard because I know all this is going on. You know with the COVID and everything. But there's ways that you can go out, as you've been doing, that can still be safe. Yes. And I think people need need to know that, that they can still go out. Yes, feel it's a stretch before you get out of bed. Yes. 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 Definitely. Yes. Clifford said, hey, cuz, are you doing any other exercises besides walking? 
Yes. Um, not all the time, but yes. I um like this month I'm doing a 21 day ab challenge. Wow. All right, girl. <laughs> right. That's, I can I can feel my abs underneath forming. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You got like we said, manifest it that those abs yes. are there. Yes. Yes. So it's like each day the amount of exercise go up. So mm -hmm. it's sit-ups, it's crunches, wow. leg raises, and planks. And so yes. each, each day it's a different amount. So I'm doing that. And then back in June, one of my cousins had reached out to me because she saw me doing all the walking. And uh -huh. she asked me if I wanted to join her. She does Herbalife. Okay, yes. So I'm like, sure, because at that point, point that was one of the times I was getting discouraged because I wasn't seeing the numbers move that much so I'm like okay I'll you know try this with you and she was the one that got me hip to the uh 21 day ab challenge and after that 21 days I, I took a before I had my daughter take the before mm -hmm. on uh, May 31st and then on June 21st because i had went to ohio for my mom's birthday came back had my daughter take the pictures and just from those 21 days i saw such a dramatic mm. change in my body and it's on not last week i think it's the one where i was telling why i started this journey so i think it was right. two that video came mm. out and i flashed the picture of that 21 days mm. and I'm just like, wow. wow. <laughs> you, know. you don't even know until you go back and look. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so I do. I'm working on that now. I also jump rope in between and just yeah, mostly. I, I haven't done that in so long. I See, I can never really jump rope. I always have to like be the one to turn. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 <laughs> yeah, my balance is just so off. Even, even when I'm just solo. You know, uh -huh. doing it. I have to just do it. At, you know, I'll do it for two or three minutes, and then I'm like, uh -huh. I gotta go on, uh, you know, another machine or something because people are watching and they like this girl. You know, this is a grown woman and don't know how to jump rope. So <laughs> I just be like, you know what? Let me go back and you know, in the corner and do something else. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a great exercise of um, jump roping. Yeah, she said this is three point five weeks of no cakes, cookies, pies chocolate sweets wow she said i have sugar in my coffee but no pastries wow go team yes. go yes i'll be watching you too i'll be seeing you yes yeah, that is that's that's, that is difficult those sugars and sweets especially them cookies that's that's my thing because i love to bake especially the chocolate chip cookies too <laughs> she still is a jumping rope after 40 it's a near-death experience <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I love jumping rope. I take, a, I have them in my car because when the COVID started, I would go to the mall mm -hmm. and walk all around the mall. And it was like 1.3 miles just going around one time. Wow. So I would do it just depending on how I felt. I would do it three times, anywhere between three to six times going around. So then I have my jump rope in the car. So then when I would get finished, I would jump rope for probably about two or three minutes and then I would come home. So yeah, I love jumping rope. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun when you know what you're doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's definitely fun when, when you don't have no balance. It's, it's a, it really is a near death experience and I'm not 40 yet and it's, it's already that. <laughs> so that's what I can already imagine. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get like you and, and, and start getting my practice on. Yes, even if cause I jump with two feet, even if yeah. you gotta go like one foot at a time. Yes, we, mean, ain't, yeah, we ain't doing all that. Let's just, let's just quit, you know, the basics, keep our feet on the ground. <laughs> so, so what is a uh, one personal fitness goal of yours um personal fitness goal mm -hmm. is i would definitely like i said is the the fit by 50 and 
I want to, you know, just be healthy and get to, I said, I want to get down to maybe one between 150, 160 mm. and just to, you know, just be here and live my life just and be fit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's uh, what is the, the app challenge consist of? It's the sit ups, crunches, planks, mm. and leg raises. Wow. Each day they get higher. So, like, day one, I think you start off with like 10 sit ups, I think it's five crunches, five leg raises, and like 30 second planks, I think it is. And then mm. it goes up by wow. five. Yeah, that's Each tough. Day. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me see. And oh, when you're at, by the time you get to the oh. end, you're at like a hundred sit-ups and <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's that's really the end, man. That's yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, she said, Yes, I have a sugar demon, but it has been at bay. I had to go cold turkey because I can't eat just one Oreo or one Debbie cake. Yes, we were talking yeah. about you know the sweets, it's definitely tough. It is. Oh my goodness. Oh, we, have, you know, we have more comments. Too. Okay. Um, well, let me see, tell you why you sure getting the <laughs> why you getting the comments. I wanted to tell you what helped me after I went to that doctor's appointment in January. Mm -hmm. I looked up apple cider yes. vinegar because I heard that apple cider vinegar helps with your yes. sleep too. Yes. So and apple cider vinegar has a lot of benefits. So what I started doing was yes. I would mix apple cider vinegar with water and I would do like a half a cup of water to one tablespoon of vinegar mm -hmm. and I would call it my shots and I would just drink that down real fast with a straw mm -hmm. and yeah, I would do that quick because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste good at all and I would do it in the morning and one at night before I would go to bed and I probably did it two about two weeks and I started noticing that I wasn't having the sweet cravings mm. so every once in a while even now if I feel mm -hmm. like oh I'm starting to get that sweet craving I know I didn't do it two weeks ago when I got them pop tarts but uh -huh. um, <laughs> I should have but I'll get I'll get a shot and I just go to we have Kroger here I'll go get like a jug of the apple cider vinegar Mm -hmm. And I have it in my cabinet. And when I feel the need that I need to drink some, I'll just, I, I've gotten so good. I don't even have to measure it anymore. I can tell what a half a cup of water <laughs> is. I can tell what a, a tablespoon is and I just drink it. But that really helps to yes. curb that sweet too. Yes, that's right. It does boost immunity. Yes, boost immunity yes. as well. Yes, definitely. Yes. 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 Apple cider vinegar has a lot of uh, benefits to it. Yeah. I've definitely heard, you know, that as well. You know, it takes time to really, you know, sit and learn, like, you know, like she said, the concoctions and seeing, you know, what's really healthy for you. And like, mm -hmm. like you said, now you already know how much you don't have to measure it. You just, <laughs> you just be chugging it all back now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, rags, apple cider vinegar. Yes, I agree, Sophia. Well, you know, I tried those in the grocery store because they have like yes. great flavor. Yes different flavors i thought right, they were they too know. sweet i thought they were too sweet so i'm like i'll just get mm -hmm. the stuff straight up and straight <laughs> drink <Yeah. it. laughs> yes it from the cider in my green drink yes yeah yeah that's a good idea too it helps yes so do you have any other any the other tips that you would like to to share as well from your journey besides the ones you have already yes um i have another cousin that's in the maryland area she had contacted me about watching some videos uh, forks over knives and what the health and i saw some other ones as well mm -hmm. and yes. you know those really helped me to decide to go i don't call it vegan or vegetation vegetarian i don't know why i keep wanting to say vegetation <laughs> vegetarian hey mary <laughs> hey miss mary i don't i don't know i mean i vegan 
or vegetarian. Right. It's since, confusing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> since um, you know, I have the allergies, I have to eat right. you know what I can, but I have started trying plant-based products. Mm-hmm. And when she was telling me about the videos, I didn't start right away. I waited until May. I don't, don't ask me why. I just waited until <laughs> May to, you know, to start watching the videos. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's different ones. They show you how far in the fridge. Yes. That was another one. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And they show you how they do the animals. Mm-hmm. And I think I said in one of my videos, you know, if you don't have a heart, yeah, it's it's horrible the way they treat the animals. So that helped me to stop eating meat. So I haven't eating eaten any like animal protein since May. Yeah, mid May. Wow. Mm. And I've been mostly, you know, eating plant based stuff and I just, you know, I have a few things here just to show. Like yeah. I do the Beyond and Impossible Meat. Right. I've tried the Impossible too. Yeah, it's really good. Like this evening before we came on, I had made um sliders. Okay. Because yeah. you know, in the Midwest they have um White Castle. Mm-hmm. And White Castle now has the impossible sliders. Mm. And when I was home in June, I got some, brought some back. And I just wanted some impossible sliders. So I was planning on driving the closest White Castle to here is in Tennessee. So I was going to put my son in the car. We were going to <laughs> Tennessee. So you was about to, I knew you was about to say that. That you was on, on the road, on the way to White Castle for them burgers. We, we were getting ready to, and, I, and then I'm like, well, I can just make it myself. So yeah. I started making it myself. I had we, we had that for dinner tonight. We had sliders. Yeah, I can't eat White Castle either. When I turned 30, I just I couldn't take it. Really? Um, yeah, I just even to this day I haven't I haven't had White Castle in you know uh, at least at least five years at least. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are those maybe I need, I need one of yours. That's what I need. <laughs> yes, I yeah. will make you some. Yeah, yeah, make me some. I need you to send it up here um, in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, they have impossible. Yes. Well, where the camera is? Uh, fish. <laughs> yeah, fish. Fish. Fish list. Oh, I never heard of that. This is really good because I'm also allergic to seafood. Mm. All seafood except for shrimp. Yeah, I'm getting hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, yeah. I, I love Browns. the garden. Yes, the garden products are very good. Yes. So they have this fishless fish. Mm-hmm. And so I eat that. And they have the plant based bacon. Mm-hmm. They have eggs, just egg. This is the patty. They have the liquid. Yes. And I do the oat milk yogurt. And then yeah, they I even, to say more about that too, the oat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oat milk is very good. I, I never have had it. Yeah, I have oat milk in my refrigerator that I use for my cereal. Mm-hmm. And then here's a plant-based pizza. So there's lots of things that uh-huh. if you want to stop eating animal mm-hmm. products like i have you know there's lots of things that you can substitute and not feel right. like you're depriving yourself and that's that's important because that deprivation is what stops people they they don't want to feel like they're you know that they're missing something that they've been yes you know eating the last you know 30 40 years yes that's a, that's a really big thing i'm definitely glad you you shared that you know, to just let people know, like there, there is options out there. Mm-hmm. There are a lot like of people it. aren't, you know, aware of that, especially meat eaters. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, about ninety eight yeah. percent whole food plant based. Wow, that's yeah. that's definitely amazing. Company. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm working on it, but you know, I still use like regular shredded cheese. Plus, mm-hmm. I use the, I use the plant based cheese as well, so I kind of go back and forth. Yeah, but I think that's about 
really the only thing. Oh, except for um, I do like the regular cottage cheese because I made lasagna on Sunday and mm -hmm. I use the regular cottage cheese and regular cheese, but I don't use it a whole lot. But I'm trying to, you know, get everything to be, you know, plant based. I I'm working right. on it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's, it's, it's a challenge. Yes, it is. But it's something, you know, that could, you know, could be done. Just like you said, little, you know, baby steps yes. you know, here and there. So before um, before we sign off, um, how can you know, how can people reach you? What is your, your social media handles? And then you can always post, you know, post those. I can post those underneath as well. So people oh. can start following you. OK, yes. Um, yes. Yeah, we have more. We have more comments. So let's get. <laughs> yes, let's yes. Get healthy cousin from Alabama. Yes, <laughs> all, all the cousins. Yes, yes. Don't mess with my. <laughs> <laughs> now I told you about the diaya. The diaya is really <laughs> good to to try. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, the food does taste good. Yeah, I need. I need to get all this. I need to write all this stuff down too. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fifty percent off of chips. <laughs> you said your auntie isn't there yet. Still show me the beef. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah cheese is I my show you too. I love cheese. Yes, I do. I've cheese. been cutting. I've been cutting it down too, but it's 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 hard because, like you said, lasagna, for example, is hard. Mm -hmm. A lot of our, a lot of our favorite foods, you know, involve some type of of cheese. Yes. Um, yes. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you were sharing. I have a lot of <laughs> uh, <Yes>. social media <laughs> things. <laughs> yes, yes, stay motivated. Yeah, I got to get on it. Yes, yes, yes you can do it because. Yes, you can do it. Yes, stay on that apple cider vinegar. That should help. Yeah, oh. definitely. But yes, I have um, my Facebook page and you know, facebook.com mm -hmm. slash Corrine 1973. I have my Instagram, which is CJMS1000. I also have a TikTok. Oh, snap. Yeah, the TikTok, I don't do any of the dancing and stuff. Are you sure? <laughs> maybe, maybe you should after tonight. <laughs> I, do, I do more, <laughs> like, I, I try to fuse a tomato seed and a cantaloupe seed together yeah and his name is tomato lope he's growing in the back so <laughs> I, I, I put tomato lope on we, we gotta, we gotta do another, another show or i gotta well i'm gonna go on your on your page to your tiktok <laughs> so i can support yeah check me out on tiktok and um i have two youtube channels i have my cjms creations that's where i have my videos for my journey Mm -hmm. And then I also have CJMS 10,001. Okay. And mm -hmm. that's where I have, I write songs and mm -hmm. my, um, I write them for my son. So I write them, he sings them and his um, wow. music teacher makes the music. So we have some videos on there. Mm -hmm. You can find our songs on all streaming platforms, Spotify. I didn't um, even know that you just said that yeah, tonight. Yes. Um, that's what I was listening to when I <laughs> told you I was listening to music. I was listening yes. to you know some of our songs <laughs> and um, you know, they get the nerves out. But, right. Uh, well, yeah, you're so. good. I told you you were good. So <laughs> you didn't have no nerves to work out. <laughs> well, you're very easy to talk to. Like Thank I said, you. just you're part of the family now, so yeah, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely part of the whole family. <laughs> and then lastly, I do have a Teespring website. Yes. Where I right now I have featured my let your vote be heard t shirt yes. Yes. and face mask. And you know, I try to, you know, get everybody to sign up to vote because this is a very you know, important election coming up on November it the 3rd. Is, yes. So, you know, I'm pushing that right now. And, but I do have, cause my slogan is 
I'm rocking my fro and saying, let's go. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> yes, so I have some of those t-shirts on there as well. Yeah, and you. then, um, <laughs> you know, I have some other t-shirts and masks and, you know, different things on that side as well. So, you know, check me out, you know, at my Teespring store. I it's actually have, awesome. I have a Teespring as well, but yes, go I, please share yours with yes. the audience. It's teespring.com and it's the forward slash stores and then forward slash CJMS creations. Okay, we're gonna make sure we put that um as well. Yes. I love you too. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely all have to, you know, support each other. So yes. I guess I have my I always have one of my hoodies around me. So this is, you know, for my on the Q production. So I have, you know, a Teespring account as well. Okay. So, you know, it's getting cold now, so everybody wants to, you know, purchase, yeah. you know, hoodies and mugs. Those are like the two, you know, biggest sellers now. Yeah. So we definitely, you know, appreciate all you guys' support. Yeah. So just support do. us, Teespring, you know, go on and, and watch, you know, her, your videos, which I know they're already doing, but it's just to continue you know, commenting and like tonight, like you guys came on big tonight, family. Yes. You know, go on, like it's in your videos, just comment, support, share, you know, you know, just one share, you know, can make a big, you know, difference. You never know, you know, who might be watching and who might get influenced from it. That's true. Yes. You know, so just just keep doing you know what you guys are doing i'm talking to your your family <laughs> but I, I just say i'm part of the family too so my yes. cousins cousins <laughs> listen up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i learned i learned quite a bit as well you know tonight too yeah well i appreciate you and i said answering my email because everybody you know you you guys don't know that you know sean if he's still on here he found me through my right. youtube channel and mm -hmm. then i started following him and mm -hmm. i believe it was like that next wednesday that following wednesday he was going to be interviewed by you so mm -hmm. i just reached out i sent quadria um email yes like you know and i saw sean you know, being interviewed, I'm like, I want to be interviewed. So, yeah. <laughs> I just got her email, told her who I was, told her what I'm doing, gave her my, um, I think it was the YouTube, I think, and yes, so you can check me out just to see, you know, if she would be interested in interviewing me. And she wrote me back the next day and I'm like, sure, you know, I'll get you in one of my shows down the line. And look, here I am. So, you yeah. know. After Ask not, won't not. So I asked, and yes. here I am. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I'm a big believer in that as well. I'm I definitely, like I said, glad that you did reach out, you know, to me because I think it's important for people to hear, you know, the stories of, especially of someone who's who's just starting out. Yes, you know, just here, and you know how far you've already, you know, came. Yes. And like I said, I, you know, it's, I'm still a work in progress. Yes. But the progress is being worked on. It's being worked on. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You know, again, I appreciate everybody who commented it, you know, family, friends yes. you know, for coming on, you know, like I said, support, it definitely helps. Um, you know, it's definitely a community effort, mm -hmm. you know, us, you know, us all wanting to, you know, improve our health. Yes. You know, it really it really does take a village with that learning from other people and like I said share your knowledge of everything that you're learning along your journey mm -hmm. yeah. so I just want to encourage you guys you know keep swaying yourself to a healthier self um, that's my slogan I love to say <laughs> <laughs> you know I love to you know push that because it's you know it's true you really literally do have to you know sweat yourself yes you know, wants to be a healthier version you know of yourself and that's yeah. that's that's where we're all headed we're all headed mm -hmm. to a healthier better version of ourselves so. yes we are yes yep i said i appreciate yeah. you and like i said yes. definitely gonna be keeping you and your family in prayers because i know you've had yes, a lot right. of you know stuff going on in your life recently you know and i just want to say that and yes, i like saying thank you 
and for you know reaching back out for me and you know allowing me to be on tonight to do this video or this interview <laughs> this interview yes yeah yes. i know you're gonna i know you're gonna be headed out doing another um video soon yourself so oh yes my tomorrow's thursday so i gotta do a thursday video you gotta do a thursday video <laughs> see you already on, already on point <laughs> yes because <laughs> i missed last thursday and i had people uh -huh. like, where were you at we were looking for you right. uh -huh. <laughs> and it was watching you i told yep. you yes. <laughs> But I just want to again, you know, say, you know, appreciate everybody coming on. Um, I hope you have, you know, wonderful wellness Wednesday and, you know, that you, you just continue, you know, on your journey. So I'm going to be watching you as well. So thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, making I got you accountable. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't stop now. No, you definitely can't. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows, you know, how to reach you. And again, like I said, I'll add that information or you can add it you know, as well. So people can okay. definitely reach out to you. Okay. Sounds mm -hmm. good. All right, Mama. So I'm going to, I'm going to head out again. Good night, you know, to everybody. Thank you. So I was Frank. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Right, good and night. as I said, with peace and blessings to you all. Yes. Always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. <laughs>